Today we'd like to tempt you with our new treat. It's Strawberry Custard Shorties. Now on Cooking with Kooks. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Kooks. My name is Professor Iggy Noramus. We show you how to do casual gourmet cooking that you can do at home. Whether you're talking about entrees, desserts, snacks, or appetizers, at Cooking with Kooks, yum yum is our rule of thumb. Actually, if the portions are too small, I call them appetizers. And today we have the perfect confection for that application, strawberry custard shorties. And to demonstrate this fine, fine dessert, is our resident dessert maker, Mary Jo Bakelot. Hello, hello! My name is Mary Jo Bakelot, and I make desserts. My cooking is so good, your guilt will feel like sophistication. Aww. Now, Professor Ignoramus, why don't you explain to everyone here how badly you failed my cooking class today? Ignoramus, not Ignoramus. It's a common mistake. What wasn't a mistake is what I made today. It turned out to be edible. <laughs> it was supposed to be custard, and you burnt it or something, and it looked like a skid mark on the highway. Yes, I made a new recipe. It's called tire sauce. <laughs> tire sauce? Oh, 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 my stars and garters. Is it good for 50,000 miles? <laughs> oh, burnt rubber flavor custard won't even cut it with a racing team. You got an F. F, F, F. Worse than dog food, even my pet schnauzer would back away in horror from that disaster. Today we make a pastry dessert, strawberry custard shorties. These are smaller and more bite-sized than standard Napoleons. Napoleon didn't just get exiled to Elba, he made a great dessert too. The custard I will make uses strawberries, but any fruit can be pureed and folded into the custard, so you can make banana shorties if you want. Take 20 ounces of heavy cream and pour into a saucepan. Bring to medium heat. Stir frequently. You need to babysit the mixture so it does not burn. Add three ounces of sugar to the six egg yolks and whisk until thoroughly combined. Once combined, temper the egg mixture with hot heavy cream to avoid curdling. Whisk this together. Once tempered, add to the hot cream slowly. Then whisk frequently. Add the vanilla extract. Take the cornstarch and make a slurry with water. Add to the hot cream. Turn the heat down a bit and add the three ounces of sugar. Whisk and increase heat if needed to thicken the mixture. Once thickened, taste for sweetness. If the custard is ready, it is time to cool in the fridge for a few hours. Now it is time to bake the pastry. To save time, buy some phyllo dough or puff pastry sheets at the supermarket. Sprinkle some flour on a work surface and put a sheet down. I will use a cookie cutter here, but you can cut the sheet into squares if that is easier. Arrange the pastry pieces on a baking tray. Place in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Set aside when baked. When the custard is cool, it is time to puree the strawberries. I am using frozen strawberries for this, but you can use fresh if you want. The mixture will be combined into the custard. The 
strawberries are next. I will slice these thin to go between the pastry halves. To fan a strawberry, start at the edge and slice through the thickness of the berry. Leave the stem on the top intact. Now slice the pastry pieces into halves with a serrated knife. Take the remaining heavy cream and three ounces of sugar and beat air into it, making whipped cream. Apply the strawberry custard to the inside of the pastry. Add the sliced strawberries to the middle. Assemble and use a pastry bag to apply the whipped cream. Top with a fan strawberry and add the powdered sugar. And here is the finished product. And here we have the finished product. It's just wonderful. It's so petite and delicious. And I'm gonna have one right now. I'm gonna have this. And I'm going to take the fan strawberry off the top because, well, <laughs> it's kind of tall <laughs> to fit in my, my mouth. So we're gonna do this. Here we go! Mm. I have to keep reminding myself that that red I see is not my lipstick, it's the strawberries. Mm. Cooking with Kooks is a production of Culinary Characters of America.